Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the Grand Canal so that I can look for, uh... Kemet, the Doctor? Let's just read all these signs and see what we find. Nope, that's definitely not it. What about you? Are you the place? Nope, this guy's still having dinner. Fuck him, I'll wreck his pottery if I want to. While I'm here, I'm gonna... God damn it, get off that corner. While I'm here, I'm gonna open this door. Let's do this so the guard doesn't shoot me. Okay, you can go through, but be careful. The whole canal is infested with beasts. They don't look like much, but they can be darn aggressive. Thank you, thank you for warning me, unlike the other guy. In fact, I'll do the deal. If you can clear the canal, the infestation will give you this portal amulet. It's no good to me. I haven't a clue how to, got a clue how to use it. Alright, fair enough. Now, I'm desperately interested in that, but, you know, I kind of need to save a man's life at the moment, so let's go do that. Whatever it is, I'm not buying it. Except, you know, as translated through twerp tweets and uh, chirps. Twerps, goddammit, brain. Shit. I wonder how much business he gets selling monsters. Like, are people eating them? Uh... Well, let's do something stupid. Alright. Just checking. So I don't think I can get over there. Eh, maybe if I jump off the railing. I don't think I could get back. There are technically doors over here. Oh! Damn, how did I not notice this before? I think it's the first time I've ever climbed down from somewhere. Uh, some unofficial business. Is that note for me? No. Ah, I think you are lying to me. That's oh, right, he's not a doctor. He's the inventor. I don't know why he's the uh, guy I'm going to for help. I don't know why I smashed that either. Ahem. Ah, oh, excellent. Let me see. Oh, dear. This is unwelcome news indeed. Healing herbs. Hmm. These do grow around Abydos, so the plants are very fragile and will die very soon after they are picked. But you need is a medicine bag to keep them fresh. I'm afraid I don't have anything like that in my workshop. The only thing I have that might be of interest to you at the moment is this. I'm not sure what it is for, though. Maybe you could shed some light on that matter? What? Yay! A canopic vase! That's not much for the portal amulet. I'll have to remember that. Kill all the fish and... Get a, uh... Canopic jar. I mean, whatever. Master, we have an intruder in the castle! Some of the Abydos jewels have disappeared! What? That's impossible! Surely the ray is protecting the castle? It should be, but odds are but odds be confounded. Someone has found a way into the castle. Ah, it's probably one of the Urukites, the old inhabitants of Uruk. Nothing to cause concern. They've eliminated nearly everyone, but we must stop them wandering the castle. Yes, Master. I've already taken the necessary precautions. The Urukite is probably using the old network of secret corridors in the castle. I've introduced a new type of trap. We tested on some prisoners with very effective results. Allow me to demonstrate with this guardian. <laughs> Wonderful! 
Menace, what a truly gracious manner in which to greet our, our guests. I expected nothing less from you. Oh, he is actually laughing. Oh god. I don't like the way each of the jars only brings him back to life for a little while. Hello again, my friend. Ah, that canopic vase has really put some color in your cheeks. You liar. Don't waste any more time. Get exploring the castle and find out as much as you can! Farewell, and good luck. Well, shit. Oh, that still doesn't do anything. Uh, do that. Right. Okay. Oh, I might as well save. Um. You know, I was thinking about it. The, uh, the box art for this game. I had seen it in store shelves, and I actually used it for, uh, part of a cut in the last session. Hello, Lord Anubis. I'm sure that he can't speak through every statue of himself. That would be madness. I mean, I don't know what you want from me. I don't think I can... Oh. Has that shimmy shelf always been there? Yeah, the box art has, uh, the mummy standing right behind Sphinx. And, uh... The impression I always got from that art... ...was that, uh... It's sort of like a buddy cop thing, where they team up and do stuff together. So I find it really funny that now, after all these years, I'm actually playing the game... And they're, uh... They haven't even met. Cha! Flap. I'm a ribcage monster. Can I pull a lever like this? No. I'm gonna call foul on this. These are not the same statues at all. And suddenly, just like this, the, uh, the, the camera stick controls are inverted. I do not approve. I could not honestly tell if that was draining or not. Did it drain because I reached the end, or because it actually ran out? Oh well. Oh, piss drink. No, I don't see it draining. Okay. Now I get it. What? Oh. No, I don't. Now I got it again. Can I jump off to the side? Oh, oh god! Oh. That worked out really well!
Where's a lever like you doing in a place like this? Did I say where's? Fuck. Ah. Uh. So I'm supposed to land over here. Curse you, Anubis! I'm gonna be a dick about it. What? Fuck, that must mean there's a second one! I'm thinking over there. Oh, right, no double jump against the mummy. My bad! Blast me! Yeah! It's really weird to me. They show a very specific statue model that I hadn't seen before in that demonstration. Now it's all just Anubis statues. It's very clearly the same model as the one that was talking to, uh... Sphinx in this very... Uh, ...recording session. Not that, uh, the mummy would know that, because again, they have never met. Literal mitten hens. Definitely don't want to go through eternity like that. I mean, a real mummy has their hands, like, bound up against their chest, but whatever. Bet you can't curse me. Look, I'm not even looking. But let's do it. See, this guy knows what's up. Oops. Cut off that animation too that animation too soon. If they learn it's me, I'm screwed. All they need to do is come down to the dungeon and burn the body while they're, uh, while he's dead. Oh! Neat! Open that. Man, the land of Uruk sucks. This time I won't still be on the button. Oh, that's right, they do often have a uh, little jingle when you do a puzzle. Then what's up with. Yeah, never mind. If I had a dollar for every time this game had been inconsistent. Well, I don't know, I'd have about $100 by now, but I wouldn't be a millionaire or anything. the 
mic today. Sorry about that. Whoa. Gnarly. Okay, so I need to electrocute myself. I am soggy. Oh, that's a very clever trap. Piss drink. I'm on fire. I desperately covered that chest. Oh, okay. Then you go get a hammer, of course. Oh. It's full of scorpions! No, it isn't. found the third stolen Abydos jewel. I'm not sure how being on fire will help anything right here. the ladder burnt. I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't think I could uh, climb a ladder if I was on fire. Even if my body wasn't being destroyed, I think if it hurt like hell, I don't think I could climb a ladder. The jaunty way he runs when I'm doing this. Piss. All right. Oh, thank you. No, that's not that. Or that. Uh, what? I'm just babbling. Uh oh. Alright, alright. Fill it up. Let's do this. Blarg! But. Oh, okay, good. That fountain must be somewhere else, then. But what if I was on fire and I went over there? What an odd thing to consider. Before I do that, I want to know if there's anything actually through here. A big locked door. Okay. Climbing. Huh. 
I am a side of beef. No. Oh. Oh! Well, that didn't work. Shit! Okay, so that's how I get the fire in here. I guess I'll put that to use next time. I'm burning dog face. Oh, I do need that over here. And I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy when uh, Prince Tut figures out what exactly he's supposed to do other than set shit on fire in here. Later!